Hey there, tubers and retro fans. Retro Marky back with his Black Knight. But what we're looking at today, because you've seen the Black Knight before, is this little thing, which you can't really see very well because of my awful lighting. But uh, it's a Wi Fi modem. And uh, here is the box. Yeah, that's slightly better. There's the box and there's the modem. Uh, cost me £30, a couple of pounds shipping. And you also get a text message from your sister <laughs> and a small instruction booklet. And the cool thing about it is you get these cards which we'll be using actually. They look like top trump cards. I'll show you one a bit more clearly hopefully and these are cards with BBS information on which is really handy because when you go BBSing with one of these Wi-Fi modems you will find you need quite a bit of information but with the software the information will be saved you've got like an address book so uh, we're going to fire this up. I've only been using this an hour or so. Uh, probably took me an hour and a half maybe just to really get this well configured. I haven't managed to get the particular software that I'm using and I like to work on the Ultimate 2 yet. But I do have it on the Easy Flash, which I quite like. Um, one thing you do need also is some kind of floppy drive. I'm using my SD2 IC because um, the software expects to say to floppy things like the address book and the configuration. So I don't know if there is a way around that or whether there will be. I imagine there will be, but for now, you're going to need the modem itself and an SD2 IC. But I'll do it on the Easy Flash just to. Uh, just to speed it up a little bit. As my camera keeps cutting out, I think I will cut this here and come back to you. Okay, okay, so we're back. So what I've done is called mine BBS, and the software that I'm using is CCGMS 2017 V5. There's a bunch of other utilities here also if you get the Easy Flash uh, CRT. There's also .prg. And there will be other terminal um, programs as well. So let's try this one. Load that up. And there we go. Loads up very, very quickly. Uh, OK. So we've got these cards here. I'm going to stick to the one I've already registered with. Um, so what will happen is when you first do this, you'll need to configure your modem by going to Ansky Terminal Mode then you'll configure it um, in F7. You'll put the board rate to 300. Make sure you've got user port if you're using this particular gadget. And then you can connect to um, your router via the Wi-Fi. Put in all the usual um, security information that you need, your password and so forth. And then you save that um, and then you can go back to here, put the, put the board rate back to 2400, which seems to be working pretty well for me. And then also start using the graphics terminal. So with all that done, any questions, obviously uh, feel free to send me a message. With all that done, um, let's, um, let's connect this bad boy. So, oops. Hit enter. So there's my SSID. Now, for some reason, it always does this every time. It's like you knock on the door once, but uh, you need to knock again to get an answer. So ACT1 is not the right command. ATC, however, 1 <laughs> is the right command. So I'm thinking, yeah, ATC1, attention communication, if you want to remember that way. So ATC0 will also disconnect you. So we are now connected. 
And if we now go to, not that, the phone book auto dialer, and here I've already saved access to a DBS called Cottonwood. But just to show you how it works, we'll start from scratch. Whoops. Uh, okay, I need to press D. Dial unlisted. Let's give me a quit out of that, then stop. There we go. So here's the information for the one I'm already registered on. So we press D for unlisted. Um, so, IP address, this is where these cards come in very handy. Here's cotton, wood, bbs.dyn, dns.org. Hit enter, then we need a port number. In this case, it's amusing, lead. 6502. Right, dial unlisted number, dialing. And there we go, connect. We are connected at 200, so 2400 board. We are using the terminal graphics. There we go. Uh, membership number I need to check so one thing you will want to do is probably save somewhere this information that's okay can't see my password there we go retro marquee access level 4 I absolutely love this. When I was a kid, when I had an Acorn Electron and a BBC Micro, uh, I always looked at the, um, the modems and fantasised about all these worlds you could tap into. And uh, it's yeah, 30 odd years later, but I finally got there. Now, this is absolutely amazing. I'm loving this. It's so much fun. Unlike the internet, which is a very public, everybody's there sort of place, you feel a little bit special going here because it takes quite a bit of effort and um, a little bit of research and uh, yeah. So my mailbox is empty. So question mark. One thing I want to do is um, you'd be looking for clues on how you use things. In this case, question gives you some options and then here are options here. We can download. We can upload. We can look at members. Um, we can read messages, post messages. So let's try something like. Is there any messages? No, no new ones for me. I hit enter, I think. Okay, not sure. Oh, let's see if there's. Hold on. Uh, Let's have a look at the games while we're here. So we've got a bunch of games. These are online, uh, but you can also download uh, a lot of games and demos, like full hacks of uh, official games. Quite like, quite intrigued by this one, the uh, hacking game. <laughs> Reminds me of War Games, the movie. Sort of. Let's have a look at number one. Oh, I'm in the CIA. One, two, three, four, five is probably their password. No. Five, four, three, two, one. Mm. I don't know. Five digit code. Agency. Well, what if it's A for one? G would be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, seven. E would be what, five? A, B, C, D, E. Oh, 
Oh, my camera died. Uh, let's have a look at the members. I wonder if we can see if there's any famous coders or hackers on here. Enter pattern to match. Control S to pause, Control P to... Oh, there we go. Oh, look, 64, uh, number 9. Forever. The one thing is you can't. Oh, you can't abort. Sorry. I'm pressing spacebar. So really, it's just uh, it reminds me of that whole kind of old school modems and teletext. It's a case of just looking around and looking for info and sending info. Let's have a look at the downloads. See if there's anything interesting there. And this is just one BBS. I mean, there's probably hundreds of them. Download punter. Enter name of file and return. Directory is dollar. There we go. Blitzwolf Ranger. Star Wars. My word. So was it Commodore P? Limey O'Reilly. Laxity's the demo intro maker. Uh, Okay, it doesn't look like I can quit that. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you anyway. As I said, £30 is extremely good value for something like this, which is, you know, a bit of a novelty. I'm not sure I'll be using this all the time, but then again, I'm <laughs> pretty addicted to it. I've been doing this for about four, four or five hours now, so who knows. But um, the place to get it is Shareware Plus. I'm not sure if it's .com, but you can Google that. And uh, as I said, it plugs in user port of your C64, and you can get the software free quickly and easily by downloading it on your PC. In my case, I put it onto the SD card on the SD2 IC, and also on the Easy Flash, just for uh, that's the quickest uh, quickest way of doing it. But if you don't have an Easy Flash SD2 IC or a real floppy drive if you can be bothered to mess around with that. Look at all these games. So there we go, Retro Marky out. I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.